New Zealand is the home of the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit, and one of the coolest attractions in Wellington is the Weta Cave, where you can check out all of Weta's special effects magic. So today I'm going on a tour to check out props, costumes, and collectibles. I can't wait for everything to be replaced by CGI. Weta Cave is our public sort of viewing area where people can come to the shop and see things that we've made from films. All the tour guides are also technicians, so they've made props from films as well, so you get a behind the scenes story with that. And this must be the most popular viewing area <laughs> right here. Uh, yeah, you'd be quite surprised when people do that with him and also with the trolls outside as well. This is Lertz. So Lertz, and Lertz was played by uh, Lawrence Makawade. He spent about 10 hours getting makeup on every morning. And so do you. <laughs> no, not 10 hours. <laughs> and here we have my brother from another mother. <laughs> yes, this is Gollum, and this is actually pretty much a life-size replica of what he is. Gollum is one of the very first characters to ever be motion captured. It's like looking into a mirror. <laughs> so, uh, do you like Lord of the Rings, or... That's a stupid question! It's not a stupid question, I'm sorry. These aren't all going to be good questions. Well, that was a terrible thing to say. She'll never like you. Well, this is actually an early stage Witch King. This is a couple of months worth of work, and it never gets seen in the film whatsoever. So they built it and they never even used it. Yep. You'd be quite surprised how often we have to do that. There's so much detail that goes into these things that people don't even realize. Yeah, every costume, uh, we do it to very hyperistic detail. Um, one, because it's quite interesting how the subconscious works. If you don't see enough detail, you automatically see it as fake. More detail and you read it and think that it's real. If you zoom in over here, there's actually a Nike swoosh right there. <laughs> so for Tinta, no, most of what we did was concept designs, uh, because this is entirely a motion capture slash animated film. You know, I look a lot like Tintin. When are you going to start paying me royalties? <laughs> Uh, well, we actually have a life size Tintin in our tour space, so I think he gets the royalties first. King Kong was entirely motion captured, but things like this were made. Um, it's got a silicone skin, and all those hairs are individually hand punched, one strand of hair at a time. Mm -hmm. We have a full body gorilla, and it took four people six months to punch all the hair in it. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> Can you punch some more hair into me? <laughs> it doesn't quite work that way. <laughs> Look how thin I'm getting. I need some more hair punched in ASAP. <laughs> it takes a while. Oh, sweet. Here we have the hobbit feet. Yeah, so these ones here are um, what you call foam latex feet, and most of these ones are what we use for uh, Lord of the Rings, but the ones next to them are the silicone versions, so they have a lot more lifelike look. Now, unfortunately for these, they don't breathe whatsoever. You're just like pouring sweat out at the end of the day. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I got to spend six months on set, and that was one of my jobs. Really? Mm -hmm. You should have saved the sweat to sell on eBay. In, no. <laughs> Finishing your day of work and saying you're covered head to toe in sweat and none of it is your own is already an unpleasant part of the job rather than keeping it. Do you know how many people are searching for Martin Freeman sweat on eBay? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is Meet the Feebles, which was one of the very, very first films um, that Peter Jackson and Richard Taylor did together. It's just a whole bunch of giant puppets. Look at the tagline, sex, drugs and soft toys. That's also the words I used to describe my apartment when I was looking for roommates online. <laughs> That must have been hard to find a roommate then. <laughs> I actually, I got a lot of responses. Here we have my mentors, the cave trolls. Yeah, the cave trolls are pretty cool. They actually originally were made um, to go to Comic Con, so that's why you can't climb on them because they're actually uh, just lightweight plastic and they're hollow inside. You don't allow people to touch the trolls, right? Uh, not too, too much because you can actually see it starts to wear the paint off them as well. But we do come and repaint them every now and again. I dare you to stop me. <laughs> that's all right. This is just like what my bedroom looks like. It, there's quite a few people whose bedrooms do actually look like this. All of these collectibles were done during Lord of the Rings and so most of these are one-offs or limited editions so then none of these are available anymore. So if you're going to steal something this would be a great place to start. E yes. <laughs> <laughs> there are cameras watching you. <laughs> I'm going to be walking out with all this bulk <laughs> underneath my shirt like see you guys later. That, that should be a bit easy to tell. When does the Silmarillion start filming? Uh, I don't think they're going to film that one. No? You could be wrong on that one, but... Um, <laughs> you can make it into at least 40 movies. <laughs> uh, for us in the workshop in Peter Jackson, it's been about 17 years living and working in Middle Earth. Uh, and it's a really long time to be in one world. As much as we love that world, we are looking forward to creating new worlds as well. But it's time for a remake. <laughs> uh, somehow I certainly don't think a remake will be happening anytime soon because they'll have to keep compete far too much with the originals. Just picture this. Tyler Perry's Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Please no. <laughs>
Well, that's the tour. Thank you so much for taking me around. You're welcome. Thanks for coming and joining us. Can we give this video multiple endings, like Return of the King? <laughs> we can try. <laughs> See ya. Yeah, different endings. <laughs>